hello you are welcome how to solve this problem x squared plus y squared equals to 20 then x minus y equals to 6 let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2 then from equation 2 we have from equation 2 we have x minus y equals to 6 now let's make x the subject from here and then we have x now equals to 6 minus y come here become plus y. Then let's call this equation 3. Now substitute equation 3 in equation 1. So we put this equation 3 now in equation 1. From equation 1 we have x squared plus y squared equals to 20. Then instead of x now we can write this plus y. So we have 6 plus y squared now. Then plus y square will then be equal to 20. That's from equation 1. Then when we expand this, expansion of this from here, we have c square, that will be 36. Then plus 2 times 6 times y, that's plus 12y. Then plus y square, that's the expansion of this. Then we have y square, that's plus y square, will be equal to 20. And then here we can rewrite this equation. We have y squared plus y squared. That will give us 2y squared. Then plus 12y plus 36. Then take 20 here, become minus 20, then equals to 0. So from here, it become 2y squared plus 12y. Then we have 36 minus 20 this is plus 16 then equals to 0 we can divide through here by 2 and when we divide through by 2 this should do to y square plus 6y and plus 8 equals to 0 so this is a quadratic equation which we can factorize and then when we factor this we have y square plus 4y plus 2y plus 8 equals to 0 now from here we can group these to 2 we have y common here and then we have y left then plus 4 then plus what is common here is 2 2 into bracket we have y plus 4 as well then equals to 0 so we have y plus 4 common that's y plus 4 then what is left here is y then plus 2 here which is equals to 0 so we have two possible cases here. We have y plus 4 is equal to 0. And also we have y plus 2 is equal to 0. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Now from here, take for here we have y equals to minus 4. And here we have y equals to minus 2. Then we can get the corresponding values of x from here from equation 3 we have x equals to 6 plus y and then that means x here is equals to 6 plus minus 4 that's 6 minus 4 and here we have that x is equals to 2 then from this side we have y equals to minus 2, put y equals to minus 2 here from x equals to 6 plus y. So if we put minus 2 here, that means equals to 6 plus minus 2, that's t minus 2. Then x equals to 4. So we have this set of solutions. We have the first set of solutions. We have x1, comma y1 to be equals to, we have 2, comma then minus 4, that's x comma y. Then the second solution we have x to y2. Then this is equals to x here is 4. Then y is minus 2. Then we can check this. We can use equation 2 to check whether we have the solution satisfying the problem. From equation 2 we have x minus y equals to 6. Now let's test for the first no solution here x is 2 we have 2 minus then y minus 4 
is this equal to 6? Then when we see that minus times minus is plus, that's 2 plus 4. Is it equal to 6? We have 6 equals to 6. So that means this is correct. Also for the second set of solutions, let's put, you know, x is 4 here. That means we have 4. Then minus y. That's minus minus 2. Is this equal to 6? Then when we see this, minus times minus also is plus. So we have 4 plus 2. And the 6 is equal to 6. Therefore, these two sets of solutions are the solution to this problem. We thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also share this you know, video. See you in the next class. Then, bye for now.